Welcome to Real Girl Thrift. My name is Angie and I resell clothing online to make an income. So I go to thrift stores, I find name brand clothing that resells well, and then I take pictures of it, I take measurements of it, and I list it on Poshmark and eBay. So if you enjoy reselling related content and you haven't subscribed already to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you and please hit the thumbs up so that I know that this is good content to do on YouTube. Today's video is an exciting one. Um, I'm taking you thrifting with me. I haven't done that in a while. So we are gonna be visiting three thrift stores today and I have a budget of about $50. So I'm gonna see how I do with that. But let's go ahead and jump into the thrifting. <laughs> of the video now so I'm gonna jump in and tell you what I got at each thrift store so the first thrift store I spent $36 and 74 cents for one two three I think six items so that averages about six dollars per item which is really not that bad I normally like to keep my cost of good per item to be five dollars so honestly that's not bad and show you what I got Duluth Trading Company, size medium. And this is just a plaid blue and yellow shirt. And there's the front, there's the back. It's buttoned down or buttoned up. Um, this is from 2019. And what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna look and see. Okay, yeah, so this has the adjustable sleeve so which is a nice feature you can actually shorten it to three four sleeve with a little button on it so that's definitely cute i do want to say that i'm not really trying to find winter items anymore i'm trying to find items that would work um, more for spring okay next up we have a really cute dress by free people and this is a size extra small and this is a cream colored dress with this really pretty embroidery and then it flows out at the bottom and it's also lined which is really nice here is the back it's got a little bit of lace detail there you go and if you want to check out what i list things at you can check out my poshmark closet at way too cute 33 also, if you want me to get something listed sooner, just comment down below and I'll be sure to do that. So next up, we have a pair of Lululemon cropped pants. And I believe this is an older style because they don't really put this in there anymore. These are a size six, but I've sold this cropped pant before from them. Um, it's just cropped on the front and then on the back it actually has little slits by the calf area 
there's the logo. Um, it does have a little bit of like peeling in the crotch area, but I still think it'll probably be okay. Um, it's probably not like the best pickup, but because I found Lululemon there, I went ahead and grabbed it and it wasn't like super overpriced. Okay, next up is an anthropology brand. It's called Diletta. And this is a size medium. And this is a black and white striped shirt with like these little, do you call them like peplum sleeves? Really cute. So I figured that is a great piece for anybody's wardrobe because you can't go wrong with stripes. Okay, next up, <laughs> if you watched my last video, um, you've heard me talk about this brand. If you haven't watched it, just go, go ahead and back, go ahead and back. Uh, watch my last video where I talk about five brands that I love to resell. Um, I actually found one of my favorites today. Um, and the brand is Rockies. So these are some authentic Rockies. They have a, um, it's all of the Rockies are going to look like a mom jean. Um, for the most part, it's got the high waist. And this is like a really bright blue. I haven't seen this color before really, <laughs> but since they're vintage um, and they're Rockies, I wasn't going to pass them up, even though I don't know if this is the most popular shade. We'll see what happens, but these are a size 28 and the inseam says medium. Okay, next up we have, Another free people. And this is a size medium. And this is a cute little lace top. It's in this like a sea green shade, which might be kind of hard to tell with this lighting, but it's kind of cute, little open back there. So I'm not sure yet what to list that at. Um, that's all that I got at the first thrift store. I did leave behind some anthropology tops because they didn't um, honestly look like that unique. And a couple of them had stains on it. And I'm trying not to pick up anything with stains unless it's like a really, really good brand or I think I can get the stain out pretty easily. So next I went to the family thrift outlet and that honestly is not my favorite place to be unless it is the day where they put out the new inventory. So every day they drop the price on everything in the store. Everything in the store is one price and then every day they'll drop it down. So like today is Monday. Everything was um, 99 cents today. So anyways, I went in there. I looked around for a while. I was thinking, I think I'm ready to go. And then I found some Patagonia shorts and they looked pretty worn. So then I kind of got a little bit more hope and kept looking. And then <laughs> a little bit more into my shopping there. Um, I looked at the crotch area and it was bleached out. So yeah, I put them back and then I left the store pretty soon after that because I figured it wasn't a good day in there because everything's picked over. And then the rest of what's in there is like raggedy and not good in my opinion. So I wasn't going to spend a lot more time in there. Um, I do want to say a little side note. Um, I know it sounds gross, but it's important to check the crotch on the clothing that you thrift. There has been multiple times where I've gotten like a pair of Lululemon leggings or shorts and then I get home and it's dirty. So I'm not interested in cleaning that. Um, so I always check now if I get leggings, even um, pants sometimes, um, you want to check that area, just saying. Okay, so then after that thrift store, then I went to one more thrift store uh, closer by my parents' house and I just went through the athletic wear and I found three things there and they're all Lululemon. So normally this thrift store marks Lululemon up, 
but not all the time um, because I think it just depends on who's pricing that day. But I got three things and I spent $19.45 there. So that was pretty good. So I'll show you the Lululemon pieces I got. So we have some black and white leggings. These are in great condition and <clears throat> um, don't feel like they've been worn much. They have a little bit of mesh detail on the bottom part of the leg, you can see. Um, and then they have the mesh also around the waist. So they're a full length legging. Let me show you the little logo on here. Here is the logo. And then the sizing on these. Um, oh, cool, I didn't even notice this. They have two little zipper pockets on the sides. That's cute, I didn't even notice that, okay. And then also they have an inside drawstring waist and the size on them is a size six. You can look for the little size dot in the pocket. So yeah, I'm, exci I'm more excited about these now. They've got some good features on them. Okay, next up, I was debating if I wanted these, but I'm gonna go ahead and sell them. They are some little cropped leggings and they have the zipper back pocket. And these, you can check for the size here because the tag has been removed. These are a size six as well. Guessing the <clears throat> same person donated them. And the little logo is right here. And they also have an inside drawstring waist. So that was a good little pickup. Okay, last pair I found there. Um, also, we're not marked up. Excited about that. These also are size six. And these have this cool little detail on the waist area. There's the logo inside drawstring waist, back pocket, and they have some detail on the side I'll show you. So they've got this braided situation going on here, and then this mesh detail on the side of the leg, and then the braiding. So those are really cool. I'm excited to get these listed. So definitely some good finds at the last thrift store. So that completes my video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed already, it's free, please subscribe. So you can be updated when I post new videos and new content. Please comment down below how you've been doing. If you have any questions, comments, I'd love to hear from you and give this video a thumbs up so that I know that this is good content to do on YouTube and I will see you next time. Bye.